Okay. Hey, I guess we're doing that. Going to the tunnel gate with gate where gate wad. Gate wads. Lots of gates. Target spared. Eh. He wasn't really the target of my ire anyway. He just did things. And that's not my fault. Hmm. Uh, get through the quarantine wall and out of the flooded district. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's no. That's full of nope over in that direction. That's nope. Oh, I see. I see what's there. Here, I have ways of dealing with you guys. <laughs> I had to bomb things a bunch, but it worked, basically. No. I'm telling you, no. Might have been better if I used the gun instead, but hey, who cares. Okay. up that way. Gate. Just another rune up that way. I'm being told. Okay. And let me just balance precariously because, you know, why not? Yeah, Anything nice. else in this vicinity? Not really. I guess... Creepy music playing. Don't know why. No dumping allowed. Oh. Dumping is allowed now, guys. Dumping is allowed. We're allowed to dump. We're so allowed to dump right now. What is that? And what is he doing? I'm worried. I can't <coughs> see anything. I must be be in a basement. <coughs> there's no hospital. I told you that. You think they round people up because there's a cure? There's city guards. <coughs> They're <coughs> supposed to, to protect people. <coughs> they did. They protect the healthy people from people like us, the sick ones. I'm not uh, that bad. Some people pull through, right? <coughs> Don't they? One in a thousand. Ten thousand, probably. <sighs> Any chance, I'll take. <sighs> when, when I get out of there <clears throat> and get better, I'm going to do right this time. <sighs> a fresh start. This time. Uh, uh. 
Goodbye, my boy. I can hear a tall boy in the distance. Oh, that was incredibly sad. useful than not. And there's a dude up there with stuff. There's nothing creepier than, like, lone whistling. <laughs> oh, he's a looter. So, not someone I really need to worry about. That's good. That guy, though, I need to slightly worry about, maybe. I mean, not a super amount, but... Oops. That was a wrong... Bad-mouthing the rooter, looter, looter when I'm also looting, so, you know. What advice to your greedy little treasure hunting trips to the flooded districts? If you find yourself stranded in the way out of the Red Shirt Cave, this rebar tool will come in handy if you can get through the doors. The circuitry panel for the wildfire is just on the other side. Barry, let me come with you. I'll handle the complicated things. Okay. Well, there's that, which I guess is kind of what we're... What I was looking for, I guess. I don't exactly like the thought of, like, killing a lot of people. It's the live ones crawling up out of the canal. 
every 10 minutes I'm gutting another one. How many times have I specified that only cadavers take the long draw? It's why you get a weapon. So what is going on up at the tower? Now they're saying the Lord Regent started the plague himself. I don't understand it either. It looks like a whole other group's in charge. Doesn't change things for us down here. Second item is carriers. Are you seeing plaguers come off the cart looking healthy? A few of them make it back up, and then we've got ten times the mess. Could be. Between killing weepers and finishing the barricade, how should I know? Am I supposed to kill everyone I ever see down here? I'm just passing this on from the stilt walkers. Well, pass it to the men on the plague wagons. It's their job to gut these bastards before they throw them down here. We got another whale oil tank on its way. When the lights come on again, it'll be your job to spot any weepers. You think that helps? Now I can stare old ladies in the eye before I cut them down. Why do you think no one lasts on this job? I'm heading back to civilization, or what's left of it. Keep your head and you'll be on the stilts in no time. I'll do my best. Put in a good word for me, would you? Interesting. Hey, that guy moved. He's over here now. This is probably the worst place to go, but I'm like just a bit curious. Alright. I guess it's nothing to worry about, supposedly. Why don't I head over there? That looks more friendly. Really? like weepers. like a whole bunch of areas to this place. Huh. Oh, I see. This is a way to cross over. Money! No one will keep us from death. Well, that's actually true. No one can keep you from death. I mean, it's, they, you can't. It's not possible. I need to go across there. Get back. What the hell are you? Are you some new kind of guard? Like a tall boy? Can't be. Doctor, maybe? Uh, just kidding. Assassin, maybe. Passing through, huh? Hoping to catch a ride on the plague wagon. A few come through here trying. And they fall and break their necks. But that won't stop you. You're almost there. It's pretty easy to get to the rooftops from here. You'll see the way. What do you 
want from me? To rob me? Looking for a quick roll in the mud? To rescue me? Well, I am not going anywhere. I came here all on my own, and I'm staying right here. We don't care if you're sick, please come home. We'll take care of you. I'm not afraid. You're just telling me you're planning on hiding in the flood district. That you want to die alone there. Please don't let us... Do you think it's better out there? I hate to break it to you, but this is it. This is Dunwall. What you see right here. Flooded district, estate district, anywhere else. It's all gonna be the same soon. Don't you have a plague wagon to catch? You're weird. I thought she was going to be a weeper for sure, but that was wrong. That was very wrong. And I guess I'm glad about that. That's lovely. curious as to what's this way. This might be the main route that most people take, and in which case I probably have to go a different way. Give me you! For the next couple of days, we're going to quadruple the rate of drops from the plague wagon. This inevitably means we're going to get a growing number of plague carriers who play dead in hopes of escaping. So here's the plan to keep the root shore gate area secure. Step one, set up some arc pylons in the courtyard behind the hotel. We have a street blocker up there, but we can't weld it shut. We still need to use that router to access the river, which means plaguers can too. Step two, put up a barrier between Thrush Street and the old Mosley Canal. Step 3, install more lights, especially to illuminate the hotel and surrounding buildings. You will be tempted to borrow the oil tank from the pylons to get the floodgates working. Do not need those pylons active and the back court secure. How to find healthy workers who are laid out in conduit and flooded districts. So what are we going to do is pick out any strong looking males who show signs of the sickness and offer them to work in exchange for looking the other way. Walks this way or not. Ooh, 
Okay. I'm not gonna switch those lights on. Even if we get out of here, I'm worried. Listen to that. Magnus is worried. Apart from dying in the muck and the flooded district, who wants to worry? About? I'm saying even if we get out, we're just bringing it back to our families. I don't have a family. If I did, I wouldn't care. No one's keeping me here. I'll infect the whole city. Just get me out. I heard Blake back at the stairwell talking about a plan. Sounds crazy. All of us here are too weak to do it. If I hear that thing power down, I'm going. Me too. I bet the family man here is right behind me. Hmm. Aaron's dies. Do they care if they see me? They might care if they see me. It's hard to, it's hard to tell. Alright, let's see. They don't. Interesting. <coughs> Who are you hiding from in that mask? Get lost. Think that mask makes you safe? I was worried I was gonna have to bonk them, but nope, they're okay. I used to work for them. Real fast. Flooded district. The whale's tooth. I know the land out here, believe it. Only way out is past the Ark Pylon. And your friends? They could really help? They're twice as good as I am. When the Zapper goes down, they'll come for me. They won't rescue us while it's on? They're good, not crazy. When the pylon's off, they'll move and not before. So I need to switch the pylon off. Good, okay. And that'll save lives. Three days now. Three days and all I feel is hungry. What does that say to you? I don't know. That we don't have any food? I'm immune. I must be. One in a thousand and it's me. Terrific. I'll turn cartwheels on my way to the mass grave. Don't be bitter. You're not weeping yet. And the tall boys will probably kill me anyway. And maybe I'll dedicate myself to finding a cure. I'll be like Sokolov. Oh, cut the crap, will you? Once you're out, it will be out of sight, out of mind. Go throw yourself off a cliff. To escape you? I just might. Mm. Day one, when the death counter came, I was certain that if they discovered the illness in my wife, then I would be taken as well. I commanded her to feign death, and I did the same in the hope that the inspectors would be either too lazy or too stupid to care. Two to my suspicion, we were loaded onto the plague wagon without them even bothering to check us for pulse. The dead counter seemed only concerned for the value of our estate. I cannot be certain if it was luck or cruel fate that I should survive the drop from the plague wagon. I suspect it might be a curse. My darling wife not only survived unscathed as well, but the experience nor the experience nor the plague have done a thing to halt her nagging mouth. Soon we discovered that we were not only survivors and in fact a small band hud huddles close to Red Shore Gate begging for any chance at freedom. Certainly by now I should be feeling the effects of the sickness of my chest and throat, but aside from dehydration and the pains of an empty stomach, I feel nothing. <laughs> There's a man here by the name of Blake, industrious chap. He's our best bet out of here. You could find him across the back hall. Oh, there's food in there. And money. Keep your distance, scum. Sure. Okay, lady. I'll just do that then. I know you. I heard you've been all over town scaring the piss out of the higher-ups. You got quite a name. Too bad you're stuck down here with the rest of us. Listen, I've got friends coming to break me out of here in a couple of days. But we first need to take that arc pylon down. You'll find it in the courtyard just behind these buildings. You may want to take the stairs up, though. It'll give you a good vantage point. Pull the oil tank out and the pylon powers down. Won't take too long deciding. When they get the floodlights on, the tall boys are coming in to clear this place out. I see. If you want my advice, head up these stairs. You'll get a bird's eye view of the problem. Might even see a solution. 
You gotta talk to Blake. He's my brother. He knows everything. Okay. I'm gonna try something. Ah, it's just a few coins. I won't take that key if I don't have to, because you might get upset if I... I have to take the key. Never mind. It's just one arc pylon. Should be easy for a man like you. Sure. <laughs> sure, it's super easy fight. Don't worry, it's not like I'll get killed or anything like that. It's fine. Yeah, I'd say it's out of order. Power source right there. So Ooh. Nope, okay. Oh, this is lovely. That's nice. That's really nice. That's that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so that's a rewiring it will turn it on the enemies, which is not exactly what I need or want. What I want is to switch the power 